Hey there, Taurus. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of December 19th. Uh, this week, make sure to check out astrojar.com. But having said that, let's see what's going on for you this week. And yes, very interesting. Um, so uh, you start off with the Nine of Spades. Um, and uh, Nine of Spades represents a disappointment. I feel like some of you might be coming off of some sort of minor disappointment. Again, usually when it comes up in a in, in the uh, the first position, there it usually represents again you coming off of a disappointment and just still thinking about it. So a lot of you could have been dealing with a disappointment in in any number of areas. Uh, again, nines. Um, <clears throat> Nine of spades in particular represents a blessing in disguise, though, so just know if there was something that disappointing that happened last week or over the last couple weeks that it was probably a blessing in disguise, and you will see that in the future. Next, we have the three of hearts, so the card of emotional happiness. So I'd say that disappointment probably isn't going to affect you too much this week. Again, maybe just at the beginning of the week you're thinking about it or whatever. Or again, you know, we're starting this retrograde now, so you could just be thinking about things from the past, past disappointments. Um, but overall, I think you're going to be happy. Uh, like, again, this is the card of happiness, being happy and having good things happening to you. It's also a great card of balance. Uh, you know, the way that I read... Um, I read the three of hearts as the only three in the deck that is balanced. All the other threes are pretty much off balance. Uh, so it's a good card and for feeling good this week. Next, you have the eight of clubs card of confusion. Um, you know, it's, uh, it came up for Aries as well. Just needing to pick a path. It's a card of needing to pick a certain path. I would say that's what, um, pretty much everybody needs to do. Um, even I'm, like, I'm getting sick of hearing myself say it. So I, I know that all of you are probably, like, sick and tired of me hearing, you know, hearing me saying, like, oh, pick a path and things like that. It's like, you know, oh, that's easier said than done. But, um, you know, it really is that simple. It's really a, just a card of, needing to pick a direction and stick with it. Uh, and I think with Neptune, we've had this Neptune near a square all year. And I think that's probably part of the problem, it, it, you know, because uh, it, it makes us want to, t like, I think people have this, like, thing. Uh, and I don't think it's just Neptune, Uranus, but I think it's a combination, I think, has to do with that and some other things. But it's like we have this thing where we want to take a risk on, on something. And again, could be anything, relationships, business, finances, whatever. Um but then we start going down a path, something happens, we switch to something else. And then it makes us like want to stop taking risks, and then we, but we want to take risks. It's like this like weird push pull thing. And I think that this card is describing that. Uh, but it's really just a card of saying, you know, anywhere you're stuck, it's like just pick something and stick with it and don't get off the path. No matter what happens, even if there's some like weird moments or things that don't look right, just keep going because um, ultimately it will work out. Next, you have the Joker. Um, actually, probably just being very busy this week, running around, doing a lot of things, and maybe having to do more than normal um, <clears throat> it, this week as well. And and uh, it's actually a good card because it gives you the energy to be able to do all of that. It gives you the energy to be busy. It gives you the um, energy to run around. It gives you the ability to work and you know all those other great things. So I always like when this card comes up for people. I think it's a good card for um, getting a lot done, especially if you want to get a lot done. Like say maybe you want to maybe you own a business or something. You want to make a final like holiday push or something like that. You know this will give you the energy to do it. So it's a very good card. Next, you have the Jack of Clubs. I think a lot of people are focused on the future during this retrograde. Uh, just even just looking at the astrology, some of the other stuff that's uh, going on there. Very, very future focused and a, a, a lot of stuff in the like far future. I think people are actually starting to think like 10 years out. Uh, you know, I think like way into the future um, and, and not thinking in such sh short pieces of time. So uh, I think we're thinking in longer pieces of time now. Uh, which is good. I think it will be good for everybody. So uh, that's interesting. And you end with the Ace of Diamonds. So very good money card. Again, also a card of just picking a path and sticking with it. Uh, Ace of Diamonds, um, one of the other decks that I use, there's like a path behind it. And it, it represents picking a new path, something you've never done before, uh, but also just needing to stick with it uh, because it will ultimately lead to like a big giant diamond like that. So uh, definitely keep going. But looks like a good week. Uh, thank you for watching and enjoy it.